Hello and welcome to part 6 in the Particle Flocker tutorial series. This video is going to discuss how to attach meshes to particles using techniques such as Maya's Particle Instancer. When using Particle Flocker, there is going to come a point where you want to actually replace the particles with mesh such that you can render the entire scene. There are various ways inside Maya that this can be accomplished, but the most common method is to use the Particle Instancer which is a system which creates meshes for every particle in your particle effect. The instancer can be found under the end particles menu instancer. So here I have a fairly standard simulation set up with just a seek target and some particles and I want to make this look like fish swimming around so first thing I need to do is I need to create a mesh for my fish and I've imported a simple fish mesh here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to instance this mesh for every one of the particles in the system. So, we open the instancer, open the options box for that. And the first thing we need to do is to add the mesh to the instancer. So I select my mesh, and you can see in this section here, I need to hit add selection. And just below that, you will notice that a um, there's this option for the particle object to instance. Now, if you had multiple particles in your scene, you would need to select the right one here. But as we only have one, I'm done. There are other options here, which I'll discuss later on. But for the time being, I'll just hit create and see what happens. So we can see that the fish has been instanced for every one of these particles. But if we just watch the animation, you'll see that the fish aren't actually rotating to follow the particles. And so this is the next thing that we need to address. So I've just undone a couple of steps just so that I can show you the right way to set this up in the first place. Um, and what we have here is our instancer options again with our fish, particle shape selected. And so we come down to this rotation option section and look for the aim direction drop down. And in this drop down, we want to tell the system to use the particle's velocity in order to aim. So we do that, hit create again, and this time you can see that the fish do all seem to be aligned. And when I run the simulation, you can see that they're all aiming in the correct direction. The next stage in making this animation look better would be to animate the fish themselves. Because the fish are instances, we can actually just animate the base instance and all of the individual instances will be animated in the same way. You can choose any form of animation you like for the base instance, but I'm going to show you a technique using a simple animated deformer to give us a wave pattern through our fish. So this technique simply requires that we pass a wave deformer through our fish. It's a simple technique, but it's quite effective. So I select the fish, I come up to the deform menu, nonlinear, and wave. Now initially, in this case, the deformer is along the incorrect axis, so I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And if I look at the input wave handle, I can see that I've got some settings that I can play with. The first thing I want to do is I want to set the amplitude. I'm going to go for a small value to begin with. And if I look at it from above, you can see now that we've actually got a wave passing through the fish. If I was to move it from side to side, you can see that we would actually get this kind of an effect. So in order to actually get the animation of the wave passing through the fish, I'm not going to move the deformer, but instead I'm going to use the offset attribute on the wave handle itself. So I'm going to wind back to frame 1, go to my offset and set a key, wind to my end frame and set a key here. I've played around with some numbers, so I know that a value of minus 1000 roughly works. I'm just going to come into the graph editor, make this a linear animation. And if I then play the simulation, you can see that our fish will start to animate. Now this looks a little too fast, so we can adjust this value just by coming into the graph editor, reducing this value down a little bit, and try again until we're happy. And of course, you can play around with these numbers until you're satisfied. One other thing that we can try to do is to change the wavelength, and the wavelength is the size of the wave that gets passed through. So in this case, I'm going to increase it slightly to make the waves a bit longer. And now we can see we're getting a slower animation for our wave. And so now when I run the simulation, you can see that the fish are actually animating with the wave deformer whilst also following all of the particles in the flocking system. Now, although this is not a perfect solution, it does actually add quite a bit of nice ambient animation to the simulation. One issue you can probably see, however, is that all of the fish are animating at the same time, which doesn't look very natural. One solution for this would be to just simply add additional fish to the instancer with varying offsets to the actual wave deformer. 
Here is an example animation in which I have created multiple different fish, all with slightly different offsets to their wave deformers. You can see that the simulation looks much more random in nature, and also the fish have different sizes depending on how I have scaled each of the meshes. Obviously this is just one possible way that you could add mesh to your simulations, and there are countless other ways that this could be achieved. For more information on how to use the instancer, I strongly recommend searching online for various tutorials. There's a lot of content on the web, and this tutorial only really covers a very basic example of how to use it. So that just about rounds off the Particle Flocker tutorial series. I really hope you've enjoyed watching these videos and that they've given you some information and insight into how Particle Flocker is used. If you want to know more about Particle Flocker, please like us on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Particle Flocker. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it.